so we've been talking for like like 10 minutes and awesome. it's we should really get to work and talk about yeah. the book because we yeah. did this once before and this is sort of for the audience who's just welcome now that you're tuning in back <laughs> from commercial break. Us. Now, we did this once before. We had this conversation once before, and we talked for 38 minutes. <laughs> so we're going to keep this shorter this time. For Our the goal this time. <laughs> everybody watching. Um, we're going to condense a little bit. So yeah. um, this is Christine Haynes. For those of you who don't know Christine, yeah. uh, she writes a blog at christinehaynes.com, um, and she designs patterns on her Christine Haynes Patterns line. And she has a brand new book out, her second book, <laughs> which is... The Complete Photo Guide to Clothing Construction, and um, it is part of an encyclopedia series, which is amazing, and uh, it's available for sale now. It's on it is. the Amazon. It's on it's, the Amazon. It's, uh, I haven't seen it in, in real life yet, like out in the world, but I do know that they carry the series at, at all those big stores, like your Barnes & Noble and your Joann's, and I saw part of the series at Mood when I was there the other day, which was nice. It's exciting. So, um, and it's available on, like, Amazon.uk and all those places, so, yes. It's available worldwide. It's available. Right now. And according to the cover, it has more than 600 large format color photos. Mostly and, of my hands. And I think it's amazing. I mean, I told you this before, but I think it's amazing. I think it looks like you... I think Thanks. it's very, very accessible. I think the design is really clean. I love the fabrics that you use. I love the patterns that you use. Yeah, I was really happy to be able to use um, a lot of stuff that I like. My editors were really kind in letting me be this photo stylist. Right. So there are no big four pattern people in it. Not that I have anything against that, but I got to use my friends' patterns, like my own and Sari from Colette and the lovely Alexia from Green Bee. Yay. And Tasia from Sewaholic, these people lent me their patterns, gave me their patterns. Um, and I got to use them in the book, which was amazing. And I got to use fabric that I loved from uh, Rob from Green Bee and Lota. And uh, we love you, Lota. And um, loads of other people that I love um, that are in the book. So it was really I was happy that when I started to see the photos come in that they really looked like me and that my editors thought they looked great, which was really nice. And I got to use a lot of my grandmother's notions in it, which was really nice, too. There's a lot of vintage stuff in there. Well, yeah. and you know, but it doesn't look like... I think there's a danger. People love vintage. I love vintage, but I think there's a danger of getting into like precious territory if it's like yeah. too cottage vintagey. And this does not do that. It's still very clean and sleek yeah. and um, focused, which I'm I like. like I think I can go precious pretty quickly, and so I <laughs> <laughs> I try to ride that line between like minimal modern and precious vintage. So I I'm I was hoping that the general um, format of the book would lend itself because it's kind of a clean modern, you know, it's an encyclopedia series. So hopefully that the combination of sort of the clean book with like slightly prettier photos would be a nice company. Okay. Well, and it's got, so it's got these great pages, and I mentioned this, I'm trying to find one. Oh, it's got these great pages that I love that are yeah. layouts that indicate the patterns that you've sewn, but the book is yeah. not a sewing project book. So it's no. not, the book's not about making these particular garments necessarily. No, no. It's so that, yeah, there are these spreads like this one here. Yeah. Try to see if you can see. <laughs> um, where they, uh, where we itemize like what it took to do each thing. Like that has understitching and gathering and bias binding and, you know, a dart and a hand stitched hem and whatever. So you get to sort of itemize like what it takes to do a garment. But I don't teach you how to make that dress. I teach you how to do the dart, how to do the gathering, how to do the understitching so that you can then go find a pattern that you like and apply those things to the project. You right. And it doesn't, I even looked, it doesn't have a glossary because the whole thing is set up to where each term, each skill, you've broken it down. Yeah. Th yeah. That's a good point. Actually, there isn't a glossary. There's an index. Yes, <laughs> which I hope you didn't have to make yourself because no, I did not. Have to write it. <laughs> Shoot me first. <laughs> uh, no, but the class, it is kind of like a giant glossary. That's actually a really interesting way of looking at the book itself. Yeah, and it's not like super couture stuff. There are not um, bound buttonholes and welt pockets and things. It's a lot of the all the basic stuff that pattern companies don't include in their patterns, right, like right. how to understitch and put in a zipper and right. step twenty six: install zipper. Step 27. Right, moving on. 
Because <laughs> yeah. oh, you didn't help me. <laughs> Zipper. Yeah. Hopefully it will sort of demystify all that stuff that patterns sort of skip over. Like, they don't talk about how to finish the seam. They don't talk about how to put in a zipper necessarily. My patterns do, but some don't. Right. Uh, so, yeah, it's sort of the companion to your patterns. Well, and it's funny that you say that. Actually, I didn't think of that until you said it, like, right the second, that I think there's a trend in a lot of... First word that can the better patterns is what I first thought. Of. <laughs> better patterns, um, but I'm thinking specifically of like the independent pattern designers who I really like a lot, like Colette, yeah. like Oliver and S, like these really, yeah. really, really well written patterns where they're trying to teach more through the pattern and they really yeah. break it out. But I think maybe one of the benefits of your book is that it appeals to people who like to sew vintage, and if you buy a vintage pattern, it is not going to have that stuff. Oh my God, it's so true. Yeah, vintage, I have hundreds, hundreds, right. too many of vintage patterns. Over here, you can't see. All right, that's what's over there. Um, and uh, no, my God, those do not include any of that information. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, the newer patterns mostly do. I mean, I think that's Sari's tagline is patterns that teach, is like uh -huh. the tagline for, for Colette patterns. And um, I've seen that before, that she's written that before. And that's true. I feel like hers are like that. I think mine are like that. But, man, vintage patterns, not so much. And big four patterns, like, not at all. Unless it's yeah. part of, like, some of them have those, like, learn to sew series where they actually explain everything. But that's pretty rare. Those aren't usually the good-looking patterns that you actually want to make. Right. <laughs> right. And there are some great guys. I mean, there's some great reference books that I love. The Reader's Digest. Ref I mean, like, oh, my God, I love that book. Yeah. really amazing books out but there. But it's like a textbook. And this is hopefully more, like, right. personable. It's like you. It's like having my girlfriend come and say, here's the thing. You can do it, sweetie. This Reader's Digest tells me how, but at no point does Reader's Digest say, I believe in you. No, I said. <laughs> like, I, when I was writing the book, I tried to find that fine line between being sort of conversational and being kind of academic because I didn't want it to be like, hey, girl, you know. <laughs> How you doing? How's it going? Do you need to put in a zipper? Let me help you. <laughs> so I, you hey, know, now you I kind of want to see that book. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of I wanted to sort of go there without entirely going there, so it's I I think it's a nice blend of like that plus just like step one, you right. know, right. do step two, do this next, you know. So I I think it's kind of a good blend there. And yeah. it seems like this um, the way that you've written it and that is part of this like bigger series mm -hmm. really is the next step up from people who are total beginners because there are a lot of books that are total beginners that walk you through, mine included, that walk yeah. you through, we're going to sew these projects, you're going to learn the skills as you go. And this yeah. one is more of a reference that you can pick and choose, like cafeteria style, the skills yeah. that you need as you need them. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely like super beginner stuff in here that advanced sewers are going to be like, yeah, girlfriend, I know how to zigzag a seam. <laughs> On it. <laughs> but, um, but, you know, I hope that there's enough in there for the more advanced sewer that, you know, maybe they didn't know this or maybe they have done it a different way. Yeah. From teaching, I find a lot of intermediate and advanced students that come into the classes that I teach are um, more of the self-taught sewers, right. like, are falling into those categories. And it's interesting, like, what gaps they have in their knowledge because they've been sort of struggling on their own for sure. so long. Yeah, yeah. I always talk about so, having holes to fill. Holes like, to fill. Like, you exactly. did A and you did D, but B and C, like, you never needed it, so you don't have yeah. it. Yeah. You were winging it. Like, maybe you don't know how to do that necessarily right. the right way. Yeah. So, yeah. So, you know, I, I've been doing this for, like, 30 Three years. <laughs> I learned right after the Don't do the math, Christy. Don't do the math. Because well, you're joking. You're like, oh, it was like 20 years ago. And then you go, oh, I was joking, but it was actually 20 years ago. <laughs> actually 25. I want to die uh, a little. So I do know a few things that I've learned along the way. Um, teaching has made me a better writer because I have yeah. a better understanding of what the students need from me and ask sure. me so I feel like I think the, th the thing about teaching is you can't get away with anything right. I don't write my patterns they're, standing, well. they're looking at you 
Hello. Yeah. <laughs> my partner isn't thorough. They will come, my students will come to class and be like, um, what did you really mean here? And why did you not explain that better? Straight up, my students will call me out, like face to face. You did not do a good job here, Christine. Uh-huh. And we are really disappointed in you. I can't hide in my studio because <laughs> I see them every day in the store or in the class. And uh, yeah, so I have to be thorough or they will straight up call me out. Well, and I know that, so one of the things I was thinking of when I wrote Stitch by Stitch was yeah. sort of anticipating those questions. And those yeah. are one of the places where I put a lot of energy and reading through the text of yours, I think you that's one of the strengths of this one, is that you sort of anticipated the places where people are going to go, oh, I don't really understand that. And then there's a photo to show yeah. you exactly what that means. And um, and just like you said, like sometimes it's a different angle or sometimes it's a different technique or a yeah. different way of sewing a dart that somebody who's got a lot of experiences Oh, oh, no, that, yeah, suddenly something I hated doing makes a lot, it's much easier. And I think yeah. it's really good. I think it's hey, a really good uh, book, Christine. Your book is great, too. If you guys don't know Deborah's book, You're you sweet. should go find it. It is that. great, actually. It is. That's <laughs> I'll take started. that compliment. That's fine. Yes. <laughs> so, and this is not this is not your last book. This is your second book, and then you've got another one. I do. I'm writing one right now. I have a deadline today. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Um, yes, I'm. I'm writing another one. Almost as we speak, basically. As Almost we speak. literally. Almost <laughs> literally as we speak, so that would be rude. Um, and it's called um, Skirts and Dresses for First Time Sewers. I'm really and excited is, about this book. Thank you. It is a, a project-based book, um, again, for more of a beginner-level sewer. So most of them have um, no closures. There are some zippers and a few buttons here and there, but it's meant to be like all those classic shapes like an A-line skirt and a sheath dress and a pencil skirt. Um, So it's like, you know, 15. I should know the number off the top of my head, but I don't. It's however many you get done by the end of the day. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Give or take 15 uh, sort of classic shapes. Um, With a couple of the the publishers wanted me to include a couple of upcycling projects too. So there's two upcycling projects as well, which are kind of fun. Yeah. Okay. That's kind of fun. So I'm and quite I literally like, doing that right now. And there's sort and of a be, companion to this, right? It's a good companion, yes. Yeah. Um, and that one I was told will be out in December. So, And I haven't even really talked about it, so this is sort of a... Any, we're unveiling. An you exclusive. heard it here first, people. It's true. <laughs> it's exclusive news. <laughs> right here at Whipstitch. I need a banner headline. I wonder if I can put it like a banner at the bottom. Was, you know, the ticker tape sound? Scrolling. Yes. Yeah. What, Walter Cronkite? Noob from Christine Hurts. <laughs> so this is now we're veering off again. We're, we- I'm sorry, focus. Focus. This is so yes, 38 more minutes. <laughs> happening as well, by the way, yes. So that, that's exciting as well. And um, it's nice. I, I love writing books. I, yeah. I love it. It's exhausting and tiring and <laughs> demanding and all of those things. But it's also incredibly rewarding and um not something I thought I'd be doing. It's sort of shocking that I'm doing this. I yeah, I love that it's a real job. It is kind yeah. of a real job. Like, we talked about that before. That could you imagine five years ago that you would say, "I write sewing books." All right, sewing really. books. What do you do? Yeah, I know. What it's do you super, do? Oh, super really? Weird. That's fascinating. That's fascinating. Yeah, <laughs> it is weird that it is my job. Yeah, it's super it. weird, but you're it's good. awesome. You're I good at it, and everybody's gonna love it. So Thank it's you. complete guide to clothing construction. The complete. Photo guide. I'm so sorry, the complete photo guide to clothing construction. The photos matter. There are 600 of them. They matter. And they all include my hands. Hey, Yay! Charlotte. I'm manicured. very Vanna in it. Mostly manicured. Um, and so it's available on Amazon. <laughs> all those um, places. And we are giving away to one lucky blog reader. We have a really fabulous prize package. We've got two and a half yards of this amazing mid-weight twill, beautiful, like sateen twill. It's like it's a really sateen, really yeah. Soft. It's beautiful. I think it's Amy Butler. And then and this some is- notions. Some vintage notions. Mm-hmm. Vintage zipper and the most amazing zipper for ever made. Yeah, yeah. So my favorite seam ripper. All of the stops of the blog tour have a giveaway of some kind. So either the book or a pattern or a little packet of fabric, vintage notions, and a favorite tool of mine. Yes. Sweet. Awesome. So we say, yay, Christine. I'm really excited. Yay, Deborah. And uh, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for talking about it. Like, I don't know how to wrap it up like they do on the talk We're wrapping it up. Yeah, no, it's awesome. I think I'm supposed to go to camera B and say, coming up next. But there's there's no next. There's no next. There's no next. (laughs) Thank you for doing this with me. 
And um, hi, child. Yeah, and now the um, children are here, which means it's time to go. It's time to wrap it up, yes. Do All you. right. Um, so everybody, give away below and go buy the complete photo guide to clothing construction. Christine Haynes, available right now. Run out and get it. It's amazing. Thank awesome. you. Bye.